Well, how do that, chums? Does I, Captain Steven, today, chums, for you guys in the viewerverse, I'm going to visit around 15 pirate stations and see what we can learn inside of those stations and share with you the knowledge that I gain. Heck yes. So first off, people, you're probably thinking, well, how do I find myself a pirate station? Now, in previous videos, I mentioned that you needed a conflict scanner, but actually all you need is an economy scanner. Once you've got the economy scanner installed, which you get from Hyperion inside of the station anomaly, yeah, you can hit up a system like this and you don't need to even expand the menu in full like I'm seeing here. I'll collapse it in a moment to show you what you're looking for. Now, I've got both installed, the um, conflict scanner and the economy scanner, meaning I can see the conflict areas. However, once I find myself a pirate system, which you're going to see a skull as an indication that it's a pirate system. There we go, big skull there. But if I collapse the menu, you can see there's a tiny skull next to the economy. That is all you need. The economy scanner shows that tiny skull. So you can still find these just with the economy scanner. Right now, so we've got these new vendors in here that sell contraband. They've got the little glowing hologram on the side of their desk and the glowing purple sort of war panels. But in here, you can buy larval cores and sometimes hadal cores and runaway mold. Now, all of these things spin into nanites. Now, their actual quantity here, once you buy it, if you reload from your ship, like jump in your ship, out of ship and reload, it doesn't replenish their inventories like I previously thought. It's on a cooldown timer. They will replenish over time. So it's best to have quite a few of these pirate systems inside of your actual scanner, not your scanner, but your portal interface, which we'll get to later. So you can jump from station to station, from station to station, and keep sort of pumping these larval cores and hadal cores into your personal refiner and just refine them on the fly into nanites, which is pretty nice. Now you are gonna need units to do this, but the beauty of getting units now is you can actually buy contraband from pirate systems and sell them to non-pirate systems for a profit but i'd have to go into that more in another video this is all about sort of what you can do inside of these pirate station opposed to newest uh, the older stations so here we go i'm just spinning up a shed load of nanites right now and this probably is the quickest way to get nanites currently so chums, inside of these new stations, inside of these outlaw stations, I'm finding that the outlaws, I can't always recruit them, or hardly ever, recruit them as wingmen inside of the stations. The odd thing is though, if you go on board an NPC freighter inside of these systems, you can recruit wingmen. Oddity. And I'm also finding there's the odd word that I don't know, even though I know all words, which is also very strange. Now, they do sell different things inside of normal space. So, yeah, you're going to find a little bit of contraband there as well. Things that you can sell for a bit of a profit in normal systems. And also, I'm finding that they do sell defense chits quite often. So defense chits usually use defense chits against pirates. So I guess you can use these in normal space to get rid of pirates that might be trying to scan you, which is quite nice. So yeah, you can always buy yourself a couple of defense chits while you're in here. So yeah, again, like I say, I'm not seeing the option there to recruit any of these guys. So just a sort of side note, but yeah, look, that one sells dirt and happy and pearls. Nice one. Well, I don't want any of your stuff with your black dead eyes. I mean, look at those freaking stuff of nightmares. Now, also, I did mention before, these actual new sort of stations have a procedural environment inside. Not so much, actually, people. Uh, now, it just seems to be the colour of the haulers that change colour, where these guys are sitting in, these little chappies here. And sometimes it's very hard to hit up these chappies here. If they're standing up, don't aim for their head, aim for their groin, and then you can interact with them. Very unusual. Anyhow, once you've gone to a fair few of these stations, you do start building up a portal list, which we'll get to a little bit later on. And then you can just keep jumping from portal to portal and getting all these lava cores or hadal cores or runaway mold and just keep spinning it into nanites. And yet I do find this is probably the quickest way to make nanites, as long as you've got units, without sort of using any sort of cheats. So I think this is going to be the legit, legitest, quickest way to do it. Now you can see here, I can only jump to pirate systems. All these other systems are normal areas of space and it says clearance not granted. Now, if I was to jump 
over to another pirate system that's perfectly fine and then i can just hit up another agent grab another load, load of lava cores like i was mentioning before now if i was to go to normal space and go into a station and go to their portal it would say i'm not granted access to a pirate area of space so it seems to be two sort of game separations going off in a different sort of tangent which we'll get to a little bit in a moment i'll show you that inside of a station but here we go now he's got a full inventory of lava cores i could just buy a shed load of these spin them into nanites hey presto we're like rumple skill still skin and making gold out of straw so yeah if you've got say maybe six or seven or even 10 or 15 of these sort of stations inside of your portal list and you just do this day on day you're going to be nanite freaking rich in no time here you go there we go i was having problems interact with him i was jumping up and down and all sorts just aim at his groin you should be able to unlock whatever he's got inside of his mission agency type stuff now there are some pretty cool stuff inside of the mission agents so there you saw nothing to too interesting i'm just got a load of freaking lava cores let's spin these into nanites but sometimes you might be offered forged passports as rewards from those mission objectives and also station overrides now i've got 15 or so of these stations actually locked into my portal list now but what i'm finding is those station override missions get offered maybe one in every 15 or one in every 20. I don't know what the actual drop rate is, but they're rare as rocking horse turds. So if you see a mission for a station override, be sure to grab it up. So here you go. He offers both lava cores and Hadal cores, which is also a rarity to see in these places, the two being offered. Usually it's one or the other, but to see both, that's a real nice little doozy to have on your list. Heck yes, it is. So here we go. And on this list, I've got forged passports there, but I've also got lava cores and a walker brain. Walker brains are all also rare as a drop but that's pretty darn nice but it's the forged passport that i want to cover off here people so what i do is i do this mission pick up the forged passports then we'll jump back to a normal area of space and i'll show you what you use the forged passports for and then i'll show you the portal list from inside of normal space so the fact that it won't let you jump to pirate space so it does seem to be that there's two sorts of separations between the different stations now and i don't know whether hello games are planning to build on this in future so if i just go on over to the portal list now and just show you what the list that i've got here go to space stations i've got a few new pirate areas of space that i can jump to but look at all these that i can't jump to no because they are normal areas of space now let's jump over to normal area of space and you'd see that that is vice versa when i go to the portal i can't jump to the pirate systems those two that you saw before but let's now use that forged passport on the station core here so here we go forge passports pow and what that does is it wipes out the fact that you might be wanted for carrying contraband so yes you're not going to get pulled over by the sentinels or scan so often basically that's the idea anyway gives you a clean slate and you also get one sort of extra boost in rating of that faction that we're in so i think i've got corvax there because i'm in a corvax system but here we go if i go to the station list look i can't jump to any of the free pirate systems that i've got built up so far but i can jump to any of my other normal stations so just keep that in mind people if you want to jump from pirate system to pirate system you have to use a pirate teleporter if you want to jump from normal system to normal system you've got to use a normal system teleporter okay awesome brilliant i hope i made that point clear brilliant so let's go on into here and there we go we can see here i can only jump to my pirate systems just point case proven lovely jubbly and even if you use your portal passport wiping mechanism it doesn't open up all those teleporters they're gonna be locked down dependent on which system you jump from and to right there well hello there contraband guy look at that he sells prismatic feathers the prismatic feathers they sell for quite a lot of units outside of pirate space so that's pretty darn freaking nice a lot of these things that you see at the top of the menu here will sell for more inside of normal systems than what you purchase them for here so you it, carrying the system to system is quite good fun and a good way to make units the only thing is you do get scanned a lot by sentinels so that's where you might need to use your forged passports to wipe your standing there's some more forged passports on offer he's got two missions that offer the forged passports freaking excellent and lots of lava cores that you can be had as well friday awesome so here we go this one's got a red hauler rather than a yellow or blue hauler i've actually seen a green hauler as well i think i feature it in this video in fact people here we go we've got hadal cores lava cores with this chap nice but yeah let's go and see what the mission agent here has got and we'll see if he's got one that might offer the station of her right but that is super super rare 
I've only seen it once in this whole sorts of time that I've been trying to make this video. But yeah, he's got forged passports here, and he's also got some nanites and hypnotic eyes and all sorts of other shenanigans, which is pretty freaking nice, but it's not quite the station override that I'm looking for. Heck, no, it's not. So in Gag Systems, I do notice that the contraband dealer also sells nip nip butts. Yeah, they appear quite often inside of Gag Systems, but I have seen the Viking and Corvax offer them up occasionally. Now you saw there, that hauler was blow, blow hauler. Yeah, it doesn't really seem to have much sort of yeah, sway on what missions get offered. But then no forged passports, no station overrides, nothing really awesome inside of that one. This guy sells the runaway mold, so you can pick up the runaway mold. But what I would say is like five to one. So you're not going to get as much as doing the lava cores and hadults. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's kind of there, but it's really not really worth doing. And it's quite expensive for what it is at the end of the day. So, yeah. Well, let's just press on. Red hauler. Hello there, red hauler owner. I love your snaily eyes. They're pretty darn sweet. There you go. Forge passports. And we've got nip nip buds on offer as a reward here. But not only that, cargo bulkheads. And sometimes I've seen a frigate fuel for sale. And also, uh, what else have I seen? Storage augmentation. Um, as not for sale, as a reward for missions. Anyhow, so here's the contraband guy. He sells nip nip buds and also hexite. And he sells nip nip buds and he's a Corvax. So it's not even a gag. But here we go. You also find travellers inside of these stations, people. And they do the normal traveller law. There's nothing new here from these guys. But what I find strange to see a traveller here is during the expedition, there was part of the law that said that they wanted to wipe out all travellers um, from the iteration. There's one clearly standing here and they're not bothered by him. In fact, they're having a little freaking chat. So it's a bit weird that the law contradicts what we find inside of these stations. An oddity. Now, another oddity is if you read what the station override does or says, it says that they're extremely profitable in the black market. Now, I'm in the black market. Look, it says down there, black market. But now I'm getting minus 11.2% on markup on sale of my station override. So it's clearly not for selling inside of the black market. So that's a freaking doozy, isn't it? Yeah, so what the fudge do these station overrides do? Especially now that you can get them as rewards. So here you go. This is the one where I found it as a reward. Now I'm going to do the mission. I'm going to get a, a second station override, and since I've got two of them, we're going to try using one inside of an actual station and see what it does. So let's go and do that mission and bring us back the freaking bounty, which is a new station override. So landing again, we head on over, we hand the mission in, we'll see if he offers up another mission for another station override, which would probably be a rarity. But now that I've got roughly about 15 of these pirate stations inside of my teleporter list, hopefully daily, if I come back day on day, hopefully those missions are going to cycle. And hopefully I get offered another station override mission. So here we go. So that's what I'm suggesting people do out there in the verse if you're looking for something to do. And considering that these station overrides one day, hopefully, fingers crossed, might do something freaking interesting. <laughs> hopefully. I would say just go and visit a load of pirate systems, add them into your portal list so you can just jump from system to system to system, keep checking the missions agents, and get as many of these station overrides as possible, just in case one day they do something freaking fantastically awesome. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing in, in recent gaming, I'd imagine. Now, I was toying with the idea of doing a whole new playthrough and voice acting for EXO and becoming more of a pirate and maybe going through the expedition as a stepping stone into this, but realising that they don't even put you in Euclid, they put you in new galaxies, and also that these stations are rather limited in missions and in lore, I don't think it's rich enough to give me that sort of experience. So I won't be doing that, heck no, I'm just going to carry on doing a few guides on all this new content. So here we go, and I've just implemented it, it says that it's a counterfeit, but we now get this string of glass, 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 glass. So just make me wonder whether there might be a realm of glass or a void coming in future iteration, people. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again! Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers! And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now, too.